The price P in dollars and the quantity X of widgets sold obey the demand equation given. Find a model that expresses the revenue as a function of the number of widgets sold X. We will start with the equation R equals X P. That's revenue equals X, the number of widgets times P, the price. And since we want a function in terms of x, we want to replace p with an equation in terms of x. Fortunately, we were given the demand equation to begin with that we can use to replace p. So we have r equals x replace p with negative 1 6 x plus 100. And then if we simplify this, we get r of x equals negative 1 6 x squared plus 100 x. And we now have revenue as a function of x. Part B is asking what is the revenue if 90 widgets are sold. Here we're going to simply plug in 90 to our function. So negative 1 6 times 90 squared plus 100 times 90. If we throw that into our calculators, we will get $7,650. Part C, what is the quantity that maximizes revenue? Notice that the revenue function from part A is a quadratic and it's opening down. So that means we have a maximum somewhere. We're looking for where that max occurs. That's the vertex of the parabola. To find the vertex, we use x equals negative b over 2a. So negative b, b in the r function is 100 over 2 times a, which is negative 1 6. And this gives us 300. So that's 300 widgets. Up next, we want to know what is the max revenue. To find that, we will simply plug 300 into the revenue function. Evaluate R at 300. Negative 1 6 times 300 squared plus 100 times 300. And here we get 15,000. And that's dollars. And the last question wants to know what price should the company charge to maximize the revenue? So we know the number of units we need to sell, 300. We know what the max revenue will be, 15,000 but what is the price per widget that we need to sell for? The shortcut would be to take the max revenue, 15,000, and divide that by the number of widgets, 300, and this gives us $50. An alternate way to approach this is to remember that you were given the demand equation at the very beginning that's P equals negative 1 6 X plus 100. We can use this to find the price as well. So P is equal to negative 1 6 times X, the number of widgets we found to be 300 plus 100. And this gives us a price of $50.